Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Keith. The rest of you are very lucky because we're finally back on the air. And it's only been <laughs> three <a> weeks. <laughs> longer. I'm like, when you walked in the office, I'm like, oh, it's Wednesday. He's going to want to do Facebook. I'm going to want to do something. Yes, because we like it when, you know, we get a chance to talk to you. So, uh, here we are. And, uh, Welcome. Good night, everybody! Just kidding, I don't know what to say anymore. I'm out of practice. It's always the worst, but... So we'll uh, start off this way. You were on vacation last I week. I was. That was why we didn't do one last week, because I snuck away yes. for a little bit. Yes. Um, I had a much-needed little vacation. I went to California. And while I was there, I actually got to do a little bit of uh, deep-sea fishing. How was that? Which I'd never done before. It was... Okay. Were you chumming the fish, or you were okay with motion sickness? Was? Well, oh, I no, I was not chumming. I did not do my own chumming of the fish. <laughs> luckily, I was actually really worried about it because I'd never done it before. But uh, no, I was totally fine. But it was a really rough day out on the water, and so they couldn't get out to their normal fishing spots. Um, so we didn't get any really spectacular fish. But you still caught fish. We still caught fish. I, my brother and I went. We had. Between us, we had three rockfish and three uh, black perch. That's what we got out there. Um, and it was really fun. I mean, it's, it's just... It's, we, you uh, weren't working, so it was a good time. <laughs> it's always a good time, you know, and I love to fish anyway. So even if we hadn't caught anything, it would have been good. But, you know, it's a big old massive boat. New you know. experience. Oh, absolutely. It'll take up to 45 people. Were you the only two on the boat? <laughs> there were 10 people on the boat that day. Um, but, you know, they've got like a, a big old kitchen down in there. And so they're serving burgers and sandwiches and drinks and whatnot. So it's it's a fun adventure. We, That's cool. We really had a good time. Well, is that that fun? Well, well, you had a good time. Yeah. Hey, no, it you was, know what? You got out of town. It was really nice. The weather wasn't great. I mean, California, um, Southern California is not a great time to be there in June. It's just... Like, I should know better, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's only so many times when you can get away. So, yes. you don't complain, and you deal with the June gloom, and, you know, take Everybody you thinks California is always sunny and bright. Yeah, right? And, and growing up in the Monterey Peninsula, <laughs> where I did, you were hoping that the sun would come out between 11 and 12 <laughs> and stay out till like 3 or 4, because uh, you never went anywhere without a sweatshirt when I no, was a kid in the 60s and no, 70s. No, not at all. Not and at it all. It was kind of crazy, but... Um, At least it wasn't 105 like it was here while you were gone. Right? Yes, a little bit crazy. No, we it was it was really nice. We were good, but um, it was also uh, Father's Day. How was how was your uh, Father's Day? Was, Father's Day for was you? Good. I four of my five daughters and their spouses and significant others were there. Very um, nice. A nice lunch. We went mm-hmm. over for lunch to Madison and Andrews. <laughs> oh, sure. So it good. was really nice. Just yeah. sit back and had a little barbecue, visited for three or four hours. We, I brought my mom with us because don't always see Granny, sure. so yes. Grammy. So, but no, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice not having to cook. Just sit back, relax in the air conditioned house. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it was a nice. It was good. a nice day. Good, good, good. We were still in California, of course, when uh, when that rolled around. So we took. Um, um, my dad uh, spent some time in Germany in, in Carlsbad where we were there's this really awesome um, German like it's kind of like a deli you know like meats but they have a little restaurant in there so he took him over there for some sauerkraut and some roast go and he was heaven oh he was, he was in, in heaven, heaven. <laughs> yeah all the sausage and everything he was really happy he didn't so, eat any of that blood sausage did he oh no I didn't even see any there but I had a really great New York steak and it was it was good it was a real, so yes we also had a really fun that's good. It's uh, always, always fun to be with family and yes. just relaxing. Absolutely. Just relaxing. You know how, you know, I we put up pictures, uh, you know, we like for Facebook and stuff around the holidays here for, for this. And I was going through all of our, you know, stuff as I'm preparing posts for, uh, for Father's Day. And one of my favorite pictures of you is the one that we used for Father's Day a couple years ago when we were out fishing. Oh. And it's, you and you're helping Ambry get the fish off and everything. The one and only and time on I camera. I know, on camera, exactly. But what's crazy is that you're unrecognizable and because you, <laughs> you don't have the big beard. And I'm always like, who's that young guy? Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Keith. That's actually the old guy. <laughs> that's the old guy. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but awesome. Very good. Got a question for you. Do you? Jesse wants to know what color grease is in here. The Mudbuddy grease. It is... a 
It, well, it's pink, really. Yeah, it's kind of a pinky. Yeah, red. it's like a pinkish reddish color. Yeah. Yeah, reddish. Yeah, reddish. it's pretty dark red. I guess it, it's not it's that a, light. It's pink a red. Anymore. It's the exact same thing we put in every mud buddy that goes out of the door here from Utah. Yes, this yes. is what we put That's in. That's what it. we put in it with a fancy little logo that you designed. I made that logo. No big deal. If we're gonna. We're going to give this away today. Yes, this is this is a little kit we're going to give away. If you peel off the logo, <laughs> it's just a <laughs> white cartridge. <laughs> There's nothing Don't to it. Don't peel so off the label. Leave on the nice label so you know where to get it from you the know, next time. You know, being a connoisseur of domestic beverages, <laughs> as I am, I, I'm totally that way with the bottles, like the Miller bottles or some of those. I, the first thing you do is oh, peel the label off. I always off. pull labels <laughs> off, especially if the you know waitress is taking her sweet time. Yeah. <laughs> just to make a mess. <laughs> Shred that up. Um, so yeah, but you know, don't don't do that. We're also we got a couple of hats here. This is one of the last uh, Digi Camel Mud Buddy hats in existence. We're giving it away. Oh, I'm gonna give it away today. I have one, so I'm okay. Yeah, We're you're okay. all right. With and that, I have but... a Lucky Duck hat. Yeah, we got a Lucky Duck. I like that came out of some drawer somewhere. It's been in there for a while. Yeah, got lost yeah. in there somewhere. Yeah, we're, some it's about time to start hitting up our uh, oh my our sponsors for this upcoming year. I'm hoping it's not as bleak as I think it's going to be. Holy cow. Um, it is about that time. You know, I keep seeing all over, you know, places, people are starting to do their countdown. Somebody, I think, was like 83 days or something like that. Oh, I saw somebody post yeah. that today. I'm like, I guess it depends on what part of the country you live. That's, that's, you why, that's why I never post anything like that because it really just depends. You never know. Right. you got those early but, teal season hunters. And exactly. Then the split season. It's so complicated. It's just... I'm going to bring it, it up again. October, the first Saturday in October to the third Saturday in January. 107 days mm -hmm. in the state of Utah. Yes. Don't have to worry about it. Only have a two-week goose shutdown in the middle there somewhere. So In the middle but, somewhere uh, there. It was a, your, uh, our friend Rick says we need a mud buddy plant in uh, Michigan. In Michigan. During the summer, maybe in the spring, not during the winter. <laughs> it's like a little need, bit cold. We need a thousand new uh, plants, really. So, do we have Kyle on with us today? Do you know Kyle from um, Excel? No, actually, he asked me to last uh, a couple weeks ago. He was like, "Hey, if you'll uh, give me a little heads up, I can jump on and be helpful." And I forgot. Oh, I totally forgot right now. Because <laughs> he's got a question. Um, um, and I don't know. Yeah, I, I can help, but really, for all of your boat questions, I will pass those right along. I will do my very best, and then so pass those along to. So it's just Kyle, Kyle at excelboats.com. Oh, dot net. Actually, dot com will work as well. As well. So yeah, I'll reach but, out to Kyle. He'll be the best one to answer for you, that for you. I know that the lead times that you're getting from your dealers and all that stuff. They're pretty true to where what they're telling you because yes, it's just a crazy. We thought last year was nuts and crazy. It didn't mm -hmm. have anything on what we're going through now. It was just insane out there. Yes. So your best option is to is to speak to your dealer. Yes. Um, your dealer will have the closest contact to the plant yeah. as anybody, and and will really know what's going on. So. Rich Usler, Michigan representing. I know, you, you bunch of Michigan guys out there. Our Casey Brady brought up something. <laughs> uh, he wants to know, Casey Brady's a local a local uh, friend of ours here in Utah, and he said, Keith and Ricky are slaying the fish. We went out two and a half weeks ago on a Saturday. That's right. Carp shooting with Casey and then Ricky, uh, my son-in-law Andrew, his friend Todd and I, and we went up to... Uh, or down to Utah Lake, uh -huh. and we, I'm going to tell you what, guys, I hit multiple fish, multiple, that's more than one, and probably less than ten, but we knocked the whiz out of them pork <laughs> carp that day. I, I woke up Sunday morning, I could hardly shampoo, well, I don't have any yeah, there, my yeah. beard, because my shoulders hurt from just, I'd never seen that many fish when we had them pinned up in this little uh -huh. area, it was like... Right. It was like flock shooting birds. You didn't pick one out. You were just <laughs> slinging the arrow. Throw it in the water somewhere. Just grab but a net. You pull them out. That was probably the best fishing experience I've ever had. I just nice. wish it would have hit more. Well, but we had a great time. You know, well, at least you didn't, you know, get skunked. You didn't come. No, up empty no, no, on that no. Episode. It was it was kind of funny. And he's he's not in here right now, so I can say this. Ah. And Ricky was having a hard time right off the bat. Uh huh. 
dropping a couple little blue words here and there. And then he got on a roll, and it was like ten in a row. It was like, holy cow. Yeah. And we were we were hitting the, they were probably ten to fifteen pounders that we were reeling in. Some, ni- some nice, big... Big carps, if you can say nice and carp in the same sentence. I know some people out there will, will take offense to that, but to me it's just a <laughs> big stinky fish. <laughs> but yes. So, no, we had a great time with Casey. That's good. Casey took us to one of his little little areas that he knows, and I'm sure there's other people know about it, but you will not hear it from my lips. And we had a great shoot, fantastic time. Uh, got to check out his uh, new ride and uh, with his mud buddy on the back of it. Yeah. And, uh, it was it was a nice looking machine. We got a nice ride. Hmm. So yeah, it was a lot of fun, and it was 102 degrees. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I I know I didn't go with you that day, which is sad. you were you were out well, boating because I had yes I had some other I was out on the same lake, just not the same part, not yes. doing the same thing. I was busy. We were on the east side. And you were on the west you know, side, having having fun. And there's a lot of water between the east and the west sides of that lake. Yes. So yeah. So yeah. Shout out to our our buddy Casey for hooking us up and getting us on the fish, man. We we had a great time. Um, excellent. Do we have any questions? Um, carp pickling. I guess from maybe Glen pickled Weir. carp. Oof, pickled carp. That's just you know I know I don't I don't know about these carp out here and, and any fish you pull out of Utah Lake maybe is a little suspect, yeah. but the carp especially. But I know. I know some people have some really great, like the the Asian carp. Don't do some really yeah. cool recipes with Asian carp. I so guess. If but. you don't know anything about Utah Lake, there was a big steel plant for years and years and years. It was right on top of Utah Lake. So my, I'm not saying they dumped in into it. I'm not saying they did it. I don't know because I wasn't, I didn't live here that long before they shut it down. But it is cleaner than it was, oh, yeah. but it still no, ain't it's clean. Much better. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, a lot of people like to catch and release in that lake just because it's, uh, you just don't know yeah, that. Yeah, you know. What was done by the uh, steel plant. But that's okay. <sighs> yes. Uh, so, good. Um, what about, so let's dig into some, some motor things here. So, we've got this that we're going to give away today. Yes. Why so, are we giving this away today? Well, it's just that time of year to start thinking. If you haven't been using your boat all year or are just getting ready to break it out, we've got the stock Briggs & Stratton fuel eh, fuel filter. Oil filter. oil filter. You know what? We'll throw a fuel filter in with this kit. I just oh. forgot to grab one. Mm, very nice. And we've got a was it, 14-ounce tube of the factory... Uh, grease that we use in all of our dries. Everybody wants to know that. If you want to purchase this, you can go to the Excel boat page, click on the uh, store, and you'll be able to find it in there. Huh? Um, it's a really good grease. It's better than anything you'll find at your wonderful auto parts stores or Wally mm-hmm. Worlds or anything like that. But we will throw in a standard uh, Briggs & Strap fuel filter. In we just want to make sure you guys keep in your yeah. stuff Clean and fresh and, and running. Yes, absolutely. Because it's not just a hunting boat, a duck hunting boat. Right. And now is just as good a time as any. Exactly. Because. Exactly. And if you're not using your boat, shame on you. You know? <laughs> Get out there and do something. Go early morning or late afternoon. Well, oh, you can't go man. late afternoon in Utah because then the. The mosquitoes come out. I know. Uh, so, and the heat, the heat will get you during the middle of the day. So it's just crazy. But yeah, <laughs> if you know, if you're taking care of it now, it's going to take care of you later. So <laughs> keep right. up on all that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, very good. So who who are we going to give this away to? I don't do know. We, you. Uh, what, are we, what criteria are we going to um, put on this? Just, just a, a really just a nice comment. Just a really good comment or a all question. Right. Good questions. That's what I generally like to do. Somebody who's got a really good question. Uh, Alan Long's wishing we could finish his boat. Well, Alan, I wish I we, knew more about it than yes. I could tell you any information. But I, uh, I, like I said earlier, your dealer is going to be the best resource for you to get with the plant and and know that kind of stuff. That is just not part of my wheelhouse. I don't I don't deal with yeah. any of that. I'm sorry. But I do know they are uh, working like mad. I mean, they are putting every resource they possibly can into getting as many boats finished and out the door as humanly possible. <laughs> it's, it's inhumanly crazy. possible sometimes. You'd not believe the, 
the things they go through. To hey, those so um, our buddy Jeff Kleins, uh, he hey, just Jeff. bought a motor from us a few months yes, back. Yes, I remember. Uh, and built his boat and stuff. He's been posting a lot of pictures. Um, give Travis a call at Backwater Performance Systems on the Big Blade Props. I, I'm not going to say yes, they've got them. I'm not going to say no because I don't know. But give Travis a call. Um, and right now, guys, it's just hard to get props. It's well, it's hard to get anything. <laughs> we'll, right. just, we'll make it general. It's just literally hard to get everything on time. So give Travis a call, and maybe he'll drop online here. He usually hangs out with us. Um, it's 385-695-3811, and he can help you. You know what? Our friend... Uh, Glenn right here. I'm not going to pronounce his last name because I'm going to butcher it. I think he's going to be the one. Uh, abs to. Absolutely. Glenn has been all over. He's, he's really been awesome. all over. And the, the cool thing is he's getting ready to do his first service on his motor. Oh, very good. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Any new... Uh, were you answering Brent Devy's question? Is that is that who you're talking to about uh, Colleen Travis? Oh, no. That was oh. uh, Jeff Klein about the pro. Oh, right, right, right. right. Any new products in the pipeline... Um, they don't tell me anything because I, I sing like a bird. Because you sing so. like a bird. Um, so, I also, so they try not to tell me much. All I know is that there always is something. I don't know what anything is. I don't have any knowledge of one, but our, com our company never rests. So there, al there is always something in, in some pipeline somewhere. Um, I can tell you I've got some cool stuff that I know about that are coming that will be accessories in the online store. I got a couple of really cool Some things new coming. coming. Yes, out, huh? I'm really excited for those to come. And I try not to sing on those because I'm like, yeah, they'll be here next week. And then, and then a month later, people are like, where is that? So yeah, you really have to be careful when you promise know, something because if it's just... if it's not in your hand, you just, <laughs> I don't promise them anymore because it is just that crazy and and it's everything. It's it, not just what we do. It's it's everything. It's it just everything. crazy. Uh, let's okay, see. So hold on. Who was that, Glenn? Glenn. We're, I'm, gla I'm blessing. Garrett yes. says he hasn't had enough time to go to the lake, so he's going to drop his I, in the I pool. totally laugh. I think, <laughs> I think he needs a hat okay. for that one. So, uh, Garrett. We're, we're going to do the grease. Yeah. I'm going to put on their uh, fuel filter, too, because Keith forgot it. And then Garrett will give him the, he's going to win the, be the winner of our, uh, one of our few left digi hats. Okay, guys, with these, for those of you, Winter Glenn and Garrett, um, if you go onto the Mud Buddy website, uh, down in the right hand corner, there's a little red chat box. Go onto there and say your name and hello to Bill or to Ricky, whoever answers, and just say I was the winner and give me your address, and we'll get these things sent out. <laughs> Brent sing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but really we don't have a whole lot coming down the pipeline. There's really nothing new. I know there's a few people that are waiting for the folding handle. Parts are slowly starting to come in, and eventually those will be available. But as of right now, we're still just getting enough of those just to put on the boats that are ordering with those. Yes. Um, Does the boat behind you come with... The giveaway. I don't know. The I was boat, like, what the boat? boat behind me? I'm not sure what you uh, mean there. Be in a photo or something? Yeah, like I wonder if there's a. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what he's actually saying. But no, there's no boat. <laughs> no boat giveaway. Um, okay, let's see. Nah, just kind of will do. See. Thanks, dude. My first run, the boat scared the crap out of me when I did it for a first turn. Note to self, the boat. Yes, yes. pay attention and wear your safety lanyard. Yes, you, that little red, that little red lanyard Ooh, boy. will save your life. Yes. And if you don't believe me, run it without it, and something will happen. Yes. And you'll you'll wonder why. Keep that on for sure. Wear your wear your life jacket as well, because these are the important things. Oh, Rick Helicost, Digi Hat rocks. Wear mine all the time. Thanks, Rick. That's nice of you to say. It is a nice hat. I, I appreciate it. So uh, somebody asked, where'd it go? I can't find it. No, I've got, I've got this popping up so much I can't get. He was asking about something about bows. If we had a holder for the, our bows in the boat. Oh. 
Uh, for, um, no, we don't. In fact, it's it's something in development, though. Um, I like it's a it's a really cool kind of a rubber U shape thing that slides. It's two kind of brackets with with rubber U shapes that go into the the rack and slide. We're just having trouble sourcing that stuff, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> just like everybody else. But it is in development. Um, it's uh, we we wanted it back a while ago, but it's just been. So challenging. You know what I use for mine? Things, so. I, I have a long one of the older, longer milk crates, and I cut a couple little notches out. Oh, so sure. I just set it in there so the stuff's not flying all over in the back of the truck or in the back of the boat. Just sure. something to keep it because yeah. I, I own all the bows in my outfit. And right. so when they break, whoever's using them, I get to fix and replace everything. And thankfully, I'm going to reach out and give a shout out to our buddy Josh RPM Bows. He takes care of me. I call him. <laughs> My daughter go pick picks it up for me, and we're back out shooting fish again. So, just a thanks to uh, Joshua RPM Bows for keeping Keith and the family supplied in arrows and, and air. any other broken equipment that happens. Very good. Okay, this is a good question that maybe you can help with. Jesse Bodden, the trim switch for the grab bar. How does it wire up? Haven't seen one yet to look at it. I want to give them a little quick rundown on. So you tie that into your trim unit. If you have the new HDR with the side trim, you actually have three wires coming out of there that you tie that into. Yeah. If not, what you do is we have a little um, waterproof uh, electrical connection that you put all the wires in, the, the wire from the trim, the wire from the two switches, and you mash it all together and it works. Yeah. Um, like magic. Yeah, it's it's not overly complicated. <laughs> they're pretty simple. Yeah. The reason they're, they're expensive is there's a couple parts that are stainless steel and they're machined. Yeah. And everybody's like, well, it's so expensive because it's you're right. It's only 14 or 15 feet of wire, but those other parts yeah. are expensive, especially that um, the trim switch. Yeah, it's a mercury trim switch. It's a mercury switch. trim switch, and it is extremely expensive. Yes. So... You know, understand that it is what it is, and you know if you want to make something on your own, you know, good luck, more power to you. Because once you use it, uh, that's you what I was going to say, you make sure that you're ready to do it. Because once once you use it, you'll never go back. You'll never go back. Yeah, I hate getting into a boat now that doesn't have that. It's like I don't know. I don't know. I don't this know sucks. <laughs> Even our own Clint, who's been with Mud Buddy since the day Glenn opened it, pretty much, he has a grab bar trim switch. Uh huh. And we were running last year at an undisclosed. Uh, place and I look back and he's using his other his <laughs> right hand to adjust the trim and I screaming at it because he's got a 7,000 with this oh, his yeah. mufflers are just insanely loud and when we stop I'm like hey did you forget you have the trims he goes man I've been doing it this way for so long I don't even think about I don't it. even think about the one yeah. on the handle so every once in a while I just kind of remind him and he's he's getting a little bit better with it now but once you've had that on your handle you will not want to drive another boat without it. Yes. Okay. Um, Adam Wilkins. Just got my first mud buddy and was wondering where to get the belt tension gauge and are the specs on the belt. So your new belt is going to be um, a 5 16th deflection. Um, the uh, tensioners, you can get those at... Uh, backwater performance yes you can call travis um he can hook you up so when you get your belt tension tester we don't have one up here it's got a little line graph on it the first thing you do when you pull that out of the box is wrap it with scotch tape mm. because if you don't the first time you stick it into the hole with the threads on it you're going to tear the lines off and then it becomes obsolete <laughs> so tape it up first then you're going to set it up there flush and you're going to push it in five lines. That's five sixteenths of an inch. You're going to pull it up. It's got a little O-ring down by your hand, and it's got a readout and poundage where you need to be. Right. You don't want to be over 16 pounds. You want to be between 10 to 16 pounds. Yes. If I'm at 12 pounds, I'm not adjusting it. Got it. The next time, I probably will. Right. But if you're down at 10 pounds, you need to get that thing back up to 16. So... What you can do is, you older guys, probably 2015, 2016, your belt is black and yellow. 
That's a quarter inch deflection. That's only four lines on your tension. Mm -hmm. The guys with the black and red belt, it's 5 16. So keep that in mind. The color of belt you have in that. If you don't know what to do, call myself. Travis can help you out. Uh, Enrique, Micah, you could drop us a message on, a message uh, on, the, on the chat box. On the chat on the box. website. Yes. Enrique takes care of. Absolutely. So. Um, Adam, great question. Thank you for that. Um, yes, I got a Lucky Duck hat here for you, Adam. Uh, so go on to the uh, Mud Buddy webpage, go into that chat, and give him your address in there. Um, that's that's awesome, bro. Lucky Duck. Cool. Um, let's see. There was another one that I was going to address here. Let's see. Oh, you guys are kind of answering questions for each other. I, I appreciate pre it. Yeah, it's, I really it's, like it's that. amazing. Any thoughts on a higher pitch hammer prop, and what about a trim switch on motor to make putting the transom saver on? So he, you must have an older motor. If you've got a 2019 or newer, you've got a... Is it 2019 or 2020? I don't even remember. I think it's 2019. Yeah. So about July, August of 2019... Um, all the anniversary edition motors came with a trim switch on the base plate just below the engine on the starboard side of the motor. Uh -huh. um, if you don't have that, you're going to have to come up with some type of switch <laughs> yes. and, and, and make it yourself. But yes, that would definitely be helpful yes, get to, uh, there. to trailer it yes. and get it up on the uh, travel lock position. Abs absolutely. Uh, yeah, fine. Um, Glenn is asking, uh, what synthetic oil do we prefer? That's a that's one of those wide open questions. If you ask that in social media, you'll get ten thousand different answers. You want to use a good ten W thirty full synthetic with high zinc. That's really what you want. You want the high zinc. Uh -huh. um, Mud Buddy in our five thousands mobile one. Right. So something equivalent to that, something that you can get that's in your area. I talked to one guy, he was kind of in a remote area, didn't have a lot of options. So he was ordering on a over uh, a website. And I'm like, well, bring in a couple of those so you don't have to order it every time. Right. You just, you know, you have it as you go. So high, high zinc is a good one. If you can't find a high zinc, use a good oil, go buy a zinc additive. Uh, Lucas makes a great product. And uh, give it, I think it's one ounce per like two or three quarts. So that's that'll be another one to help. Yes. With the high zinc. But you asked that question on there. There's people that like royal purple. Pink, the, everybody's got their own flavor. My dad, in yes. all everything we drove when we were kids, it was in a yellow bottle. And uh -huh. it was called Pins on. That's all. It's the only thing not. Not. <laughs> And another good friend of mine, he is only a. No, I just. No, you Castro. Oh, Castro. He's yeah. a Castro guy. You know, he wouldn't buy yeah. any, anything else other than that green. He just burns his hands. So, you know, use whatever you like. If you're not sure about the zinc, add, a, add an ounce of it. I think it's like 20 bucks for a 16 ounce bottle. So it's relatively inexpensive. Yeah. You know, so, uh, but yeah, don't be afraid to, to change your oil and, you know, do what you got to do. Use something that's local yeah. to where you're at and that's readily available. Yes. If Royal Purple's not in your area, Maybe find something that is in your area or order a couple gallons at a time so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Nothing worse than getting ready to change your oil. It's like, yeah, I don't can't, oil. can't find the oil. And you can't find it. So, um, Lee Shahan, uh, what is the highest horsepower you have seen from a built motor? That I've seen? Uh -huh, that you've seen. I have ridden in one in Arkansas. That was my good friend Dale Chanel. <laughs> Uh, of course, dyno, right. dyno to 69 horsepower. Yeah. That was a screaming little machine. Yikes. Uh, but he no longer owns it. He, oh. he passed it, he, he passed it on to a friend that he knows and his friends loving it. And he bought an HDR 5000. Interesting. So yeah, he, uh, he built a few motors, but yeah, his, his dyno to 69 horsepower. Yeah. So they're out there. I mean, there. the mud buddy... Seven thousands, I would guess they're in the sixty-two to sixty-five range back in the old days. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's uh, there's a ton of parts out there and a ton of things you can do. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to use the word lawnmower engine, but <laughs> you know. So yeah, just be careful. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there, and there's a lot of great builders. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great builders. Oh yeah. 
you know. But I, I'm a guy, I duck hunt, I bow fish, I want to get to where I'm going, and I want to make it home. And I don't have to go 40 miles an hour because in Utah, if your boat does between 26 to 28, 29, you've got a fast run of mud buddy here in Utah yes. because of elevation. Now, take that thing at sea level, probably be a whole different story, but... Yeah. Uh, a 27, 28 mile an hour boat in the state of Utah is a good running machine. Pretty good running machine. Yep. So, uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sid's on. So, so. Sid. Ah. Well, I'm give out a shout, a shout out to Sid. He's hooking me up with some cool stuff. Ooh. When we get, when I get it put on the boat, maybe I'll, Very uh, good. I'll let you know what it was. But uh, <laughs> Sid's a good dude. I don't know yeah. why his wife puts up with him. But uh, well, I mean, he must be a really good yeah. Yes, yeah, lots of lots of ideas on the oil. Sid, you should be working, not calling us junk. Well, it's five thirty. Yeah, it's five thirty. Where he's at? I wonder what the humidity and the temperature is in Florida right now. I don't know. Actually, today's not been too bad. I guess now. I guess now it is. This morning started out cooler than. It's it's hot outside. It is. Yeah, it's a solid ninety-one degrees today where we are. <laughs> Sid says, she says the same thing. She's not sure why she puts up with them either. I believe that. So, um, But all you guys asking uh, the performance questions on these mud motors, Travis over at uh, BPS is a really great resource for you. Call over there. Um, he can answer uh, much better questions on, on how to build up motors, what options you have with your motor a lot better than Keith and I can. Yeah. Because that's S- what they do all day. Sid commented Briggs... 15W50. So Briggs has got a good oil out there too. Sure. Might be a little bit harder to find, but I'm sure any good local Briggs shop either has it or can get it for you. Garrett says, Mud Buddy <laughs> Facebook Live work. Yeah. That's Garrett, what we're doing. We're yeah, on Facebook Live absolutely. and we're working. Yes. It, uh, yeah, that is equal to. Equal to work? Yes, equal to work. Equal to work. See, I just learned something. I'm not one of them high tech guys, man. <laughs> I can turn the darn thing on, and I can turn it off. Oh, my goodness. Rob Rash was, hey, guys, the 2122 Utah Waterfowl Guidebook is out today. Thanks, Rob. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting them. <laughs> I know. Rob to get I know. On the everybody, I'm sure everybody that's from Utah on here is just like, oh, my gosh, i got to go over and get that right now. That's good. That, I mean, that just that just means it's basically here. You should yes. just get on, get some Sitka gear going right now. Just, just just hand over your credit card right now. He probably has some. <laughs> Rob, you're a funny guy. See, he, you know Rob. He right there tells me he is a duck hunter. Yes. He's not oh, like yeah. you and I. We're casual duck hunters. This guy yeah, thinks. Yes. If you know when the guidebook comes out, you're on it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you go on Utah Waterfowler page there, Rob, and let everybody else know. Yes. That's a great page to follow, too. I'm a, no, I follow really that good. one. Yes. See what's all going on in local stuff. And a, a lot of guys are pretty good about it. If you ask them, hey, what's the water level like? Because right now in Utah, we don't have a water level. Right. It is. It's uh, empty. There's no water empty. here. It is nuts. Yeah, it's real bad. So... Everybody look forward to putting together some great content. It's fun with your stuff. Yes. So trips planned. Oh, that's Jeff. Yeah. Yes. Is that uh, Team yeah. Jeff or is you that know, Team he, Keith? He, he's very diplomatic. He put down Team Mud Buddy. Oh, Team Mud Buddy. <laughs> doesn't want to get doesn't want uh, to get in a squall here. Right. It's like yeah. Um, yeah. Keep, keep sending that, Jeff. I love. I love all Did that anything stuff. Anything you guys want to send to us, if it's appropriately, if you send it to us, you're giving us. Authorization to use it on our social media, and we will. Yes, we've we've seen some funny stuff with the guy at what a few weeks ago hanging upside down in a tree. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, wasn't that awesome? I, I could have never passed out and fell in the boat. It probably would have been awesome video. It been but, even better, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And when you send stuff, if you'd like us to tag you in it, just make sure you state that. Be like, use this tag to get you in, because we like to give. You know, a shout out to the people that do it. But sometimes I only put the names. I'm not sure exactly what your right, what your tags are, what your handles are. Handles are so uh, really big right at the moment. Oh, oh, Glenn, um, on boat numbers, want to match your F four colors on the stickers? Yes. In fact, Glenn, I wonder if it was you that was asking that question on the owners page the other day. On somebody did, and I meant to run over. I. I can get those hashtags. I can't write where I'm sitting. I, I need to be in my other office, but I can get you those. It's a hex color is what it is. It's a hashtag and six numbers 
which is that that kind of orange that we use oh, in the like shallow water. Yeah, six number. Yeah, it's called it's called a hex number. Hex number. But they write it out with with that hashtag. Um, I will. I'm gonna put that in these comments here for you, Glenn. Yes, it was awesome. I'm so glad you asked, Glenn. Um, so I'm gonna do that one as soon as this ends. I will go over and find that hex number for you. Um, I might even be able to tell you the actual font that they use. But I'm not sure. It might be a little different because I don't. I don't make the stickers. It's a. It's a completely separate company that actually makes the decals. But I can. I can get you somewhere close, Glenn. In fact, I gotta put that somewhere else probably because a lot of people probably want to know that question. Um, but the ones they were talking about, ones on Amazon, and those those look pretty cool too. I'm yeah. sure those were close enough, especially if you put them on the other end, away from the decal. <laughs> hey, Anthony. In regard to your question, um. This time of year and right now, we just don't really have much of anything to uh, to oh. donate or sponsor or anything. It's just, we don't have any. We've got a couple hats. We've got no shirts. We've got no hoodies. We've got yeah. no props. We don't have anything. Yeah, this year is a is a rough year for us. Like I, I, I kind of mentioned this a little bit earlier with the boat factory, and it's the same year for us, is that every resource we have is really being funneled right into production that's that's all we are doing that's where all the focus is right now so you know all these new the new swag isn't coming in and all of that stuff and so i just not in a position this year uh, to jump on the sponsorships like we yeah, we like have we really us. like to yeah because if i gave a prop away right now <laughs> i'd probably lose my job <laughs> i can't even buy one no i, I can't say that but no, we, we would love to um, hit us up next year. Hopefully everything's a little yes. bit better because we've always been, I think, yes, really I good love, and fair I about to do it, but. doing stuff. But to give a prop away, I don't even think we can give a prop away this year no. uh, for like a maybe for our Thanksgiving yeah, Christmas maybe, show. Yeah, maybe. maybe if things, if things uh, come out good, then we might be able to do that. But. So um, let's see what else we got. Are here. there any type of video that you guys would like to see that maybe we can put something together um, with Enrique, something small. We've done some wiring ones, we've done the crankshaft position sensor. If you guys don't know, go to our YouTube channel, look up Mud Buddy, click on videos. We have quite a few videos. If you're not sure, there's some of the transmission ones. If you're middle of 2019, Late 2019, you have a Generation 2 transmission. If you're before that, you have a Gen 1. So make sure you're watching the right video if you need to replace a seal or you need oil um, quantities and that kind of stuff. So there's a ton of videos out there too if you guys didn't know that. And especially for you new guys, there's some stuff out there and some service tips and videos and some other stuff. Also on our Mud Buddy page. At the bottom, if you scroll all the way down, it's mm -hmm. is it FAQ. It's the tips and tricks. Yeah, tips and tricks. Uh -huh, and all the all the videos we make are in there, so you'll be able to find them in there as well. Um, they're called um, service series videos. The ser the service series so, is what you're looking for on YouTube. Um, uh, but yes, any suggestions you have, we definitely need to get. Uh, we love to get more of those videos out for you. Um, Where is who? <laughs> is that a word? Is that a real word? I don't, know. Word? Is that I don't know. know. Is that offensive? Did I, I just say know. that out loud and it's like really... Oh, it's Sid's asking where Enrique is. Uh -huh. That's exactly what he's asking. Yeah, Enrique says, please, uh, suggestions, because he says he doesn't have anything to do. Although today I watched him... Uh, he was uh, he was busy this morning. Well, in fact, I, I got here a little bit before he did, and I started the full service on this thing, and then he took it from... What I did to a lot more stuff that Keith's not allowed to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my technical skills and my shop skills aren't what they used to be, but and Ricky finished that up. Uh, we've got to meet a really Osvaldo from Colorado. Mm. He brought his boat in yesterday. He was having some some problems. We did a bunch of stuff over the phone between him and I and him and Enrique. It just wasn't working out. He brought his boat here and we hooked him up. Because he, we weren't going to find the problems that he had over the phone. I, well, I guess we probably could have. He had uh, some serious motor problems. Jeez. He had a, he had a blown head gasket oh, and no. a cracked head. So, Yikes. but uh, 
We were able to get him up and going. He only had to stay, he only had to stay one night. And his two little boys, yeah. they were little cute. We <laughs> couldn't get him out of the swimming pool. I'm like, well, it's like vacation, <laughs> Dad. Know, you know, like it's, it's 100 degrees in Utah. <laughs> Let's go to this, the hotel and swim. But it was great to meet him and, and his family and, and to be able to get his boat up and running so he can go back to Colorado and uh, yes. do some more fishing and get ready to... Do yeah. some hunting this year, so absolutely, um, Garrett. Uh, best place to send photos. So you can do it through Facebook. When you're on our Facebook page, that little uh, uh, chat box pops up on Facebook as well. You can go right in there and send them that way. You can also send them to me personally. That's Jeff J E F F at xlboats.com. Um, I love I love that. That's the easiest way. You can send them there. Um, you can also go to the Mud Buddy webpage chat and send them through that. I I think you can send them to I'm pretty sure you can send pictures through that. I could be wrong. I don't know. I haven't but, ever tried because uh, I really don't look on that. Yeah, thing. a lot of people will send them through through Facebook Messenger, which yes. is really great, a really nice way. But always just, you can just send them to my email too. It makes it really great. So, Glenn, your touch up on your OptiFade Marsh, uh, talk to your dealer. That stuff's really hard to get out because it's an exclusive thing with OptiFade. So, stencils, paint stuff, it's really hard to help you do anything with that stuff. Yes. And because of the, an agreement that I believe that we're in. Yes, so. so your dealer will be able to get with the plan and get a patch kit for you. Yeah. Is is how that works. Hey, Jeff, uh, regarding your question, Jeff Kleins, send us a message in uh, the messenger on the uh, webpage of what hat it was and all of your shipping information. Because if you haven't gotten it by now, it didn't get shipped. It didn't, it didn't get shipped. Or and put what hat down on what, what hat yeah. it was. Man, yes. I can't even talk. I can't either. It's so hot in here. Um, if you guys produce a video using several different props on the same boat with a GPS showing speed. Um, yeah. Yeah, we could do something like that. The, the one hesitation we have doing something like that is because... Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of relative. So, you know, with speeds and things like that, you're, I mean, weight's going to be a big factor. Also, everything's going to be a little bit slower here yeah, because definitely. of our elevation. So you'll be like, why are you only getting this much and thinking you should get more? And you might get a whole lot more. Right. But a comparison between the two. Yeah, we could do something. You know, show, it show the difference. A, yeah. A video, yes. yeah. So the overall speed wouldn't help you at all, but the difference between the two speeds might. So we could yeah. do something like yeah. that. Coming out, coming out of the hole, uh -huh. um, loads, uh, fishing type stuff with the three blades. So yeah, right. that's something we could do. Right. But just when remember, it every down a little bit. Oh. when it gets below ninety-five. <laughs> well, I know we need to do the live video like six, six in the morning. morning. I know. <laughs> well. The other thing I was going to say, uh, Rick was like, put together like a blooper reel video, you know, of all the, of all the stupid stuff we do. The problem is, is that all our videos are live, so yeah. you've already seen them. You've you know, already seen the best of the best. <laughs> yes. That'd be funny. I'll have to keep an eye out for those. Um, a valve lash video. So I there... I, I we maybe had one, but maybe well, we didn't actually do it. I think we did that one, oh, but the wind, the one it was a windy. It was, the, it was the windy. Yeah. It was windy. It was outside. the windy. It was the windy outside. So all you heard was whoosh, the wind blowing. But yeah, we did do was one. Um, so yeah, that's something we'll work on. I thought we redid that with Ricky, or was no, that, that the crankshaft? That was the that was the compression test. Oh, compression test. Okay. So, so we'll uh, sure. let me look on that because that's a good one. Yeah, that would definitely be a good one. Also, if you want to uh, just read about it, if you go to Backwater Performance Systems. If you hit in their search window, tech tips, they walk you through a nice little walkthrough on how to adjust your valves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, good, good, good. Okay, if you use non-ethanol, um, I have and I'm reluctant to use additives. So on the fuel, if you're running a EFI 40, if you can run an 85 or higher ethanol free that's amazing that's what i would use if you're running a 5000 you've got to be up at 91 um as long as you're running your boat and keeping the fuel fresh in it the um ethanol doesn't bother efi motors as much as it does carbureted versions so efis 
and you're 5,000, you need to run 91 octane. If you're a 40, you can run the 85, you can run the 87, you can run... Uh-huh. Here in Utah, 88 is the highest, highest ethanol, ethanol free. free. Yeah. And you can't find it every gas station because I, I went to five gas stations a couple <laughs> weeks ago and finally just was like 91 and some additive, additive and I'll be good. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you just uh, So, 91 octane if you're running 5,000 or better. If you're not you're using your boat a lot or you got a carburetor version, additive. If you've got an e, e, EFI, and using it all the time, I wouldn't really worry a lot about the additive, but you need to run the 91 octane. Yes. It's amazing how much bad fuel will hurt your motor. Right. And the way it performs. Yes. Nice. Okay. What else? What else we got here? Fuel. 390 a gallon for ethanol, Ooh. non-ethanol. Woo, baby. Where do you live? California? It's expensive here too, though. No, it's bad here. We just got another 20 cent hike on Monday. Woo-hoo. Actually, in Carlsbad, it was four, what, 4.30 or something Can't like that. Can't afford to drive. No, seriously. We're Everybody's like, we're riding just, little scooters around. Yeah, take a bike. Yep. I don't know. We got 91 and 93 ethanol free. Jeff Klein said, well, oh. bring, some, bring five gallons oh. down the next time for me, bro, because yeah. 88 is the best I found around here yeah. when you can find it, so... That's just the way it is. So. Mm, interesting. But yeah, so we'll, we'll work on a, on a uh, valve, yeah, valve video. Yeah, valve video. Valve video. And there's there's tons of ways to do it, so we're not going to say our way is the best way. This is just what we do is what Enrique likes to do and how he does it. Yes. Because there's going to be, if you Google that, you're probably going to find 100 different guys and they, everybody does it a little bit different. So this is right. the way that Enrique will do it for you. Yes, so. yes, yes, yes. Also, you guys uh, that are running different types of Mud Buddy motors, not just the HDRs, but any questions on your long tails, questions on your Sport Vs, we love those and, and need to continue to create our base of videos yes. for those models as well. And in fact, if you have, have any questions on your long tail, this, this guy can do it with his Is eyes closed. Because <laughs> um, those are fun motors, those uh, long tails. Jeff Mullenix. Is that grease you have on the desk the same stuff you use for my muffler bearings? <laughs> it is. It is. So, anything? Do we miss anything? Yes, I, I don't think so. I think that's about it. Um, keep these questions coming. We'll, uh, we'll try and keep an eye on this so we can continue to answer your questions. Um, we'll try and be on next week as well. I'd like to try and get out on the water. Maybe do a little... But we may... Hopefully. Yeah, I, I know. I I mean, you're you're all Mr. Good Aim now no. and can actually shoot them. I probably won't hit one now. <laughs> well, the problem is, is that we go for this time. So it's literally the hottest part of the, the day, day when we're there. So we might need to work something else out. Some time to go when it's better off. Uh... Like I said, I do have, um, I've got some new things coming in uh, for the store, so as soon as they come in, we'll do some fun videos on those and, and hit you all up, you know, to talk about the new accessories and, you know, anything else fun that we've got. In the meantime, uh, thank you all very much for watching, and... Um, A quick shout out to all your sponsors. I do guess. you remember? <laughs> oh, you asked me that. Echo Calls. Echo Calls. Lucky, Lucky Duck. Duck. Dakota Decoys. Yes. Uh, Camp Chef. Camp Chef. The Grind Waterfowl the Grind TV. Uh, Delta Waterfowl. In fact, uh, we are, here's a heads up for them. They're going to do their big uh, yearly raffle again this year, um, which will, you know, that's much later in the year, but they are doing that again. So, you know, be ready because you'll be able to win a, a boat and motor package. Not me. Not you. We, well, are you good if you... I, uh, I doubt I could enter. If you are... Uh, anybody who is a member is entered, I believe. Okay. If you have a member, your yearly membership gets My you membership. an your, entry. Your membership gets I you... Believe, your I believe so. So that's just a few of our sponsors. Of course, the one that we work for, 
Mud Buddy. Mud Buddy Motors, XL Boats. XL Boats. So uh, without Mud Buddy and XL, Jeff and I wouldn't be sitting here. We'd nope. probably be somewhere else and would have never uh, walked into the same building. <laughs> he walked in way after I did, though. He's 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 a rookie here. <gasps> Put a rookie. Put raffle on website. Oh, Glenn, I will as soon as um, as soon as they have all that that info. It's through Delta Waterfowl. They're the ones who do it every year. Um, they're just in the process of creating like their big ads. Because they don't give like that away till like was it December, December. or January? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, they want it, we're a little six months early. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a long way out. But as soon as they have all of their stuff created and they're ready, we'll post all of that for sure. Yes, sure, Richard. Sure. Lucky Duck Cat does rock. I have one of those. That's what I want. Thanks, Nick. I appreciate that. It's nice of you to say. I agree. I agree with you 100%. You want a successful hunt? You need a buddy. And an XL. Delta is a great group. I absolutely agree. I think they do a great job. They've always uh, been really uh, great and helpful for us, and we love our local rep here at Jeff Adams. Um, all right, everybody, we're going to call it good there. Uh, we'll see you next week right here in the Shallow Water.